consider EMI, the fifth chapter, EM waves, all these are very easy scoring chapters. So if you are getting this, then take the advantage of scoring well. And EMI may say to bohat mark score karne kush karo because EMI is also one of those chapters which uh, provide direct, direct basic formula based questions. Okay. So yeah. See, IRMS has a relationship with I0, which is I0 by root 2. And if we are talking about this was for XC particularly, but this relation is very important. Secondly, when we're talking about the circuits having only register, we can see as Mamuna rightly answered, no angle is extra present means they are in the same phase. Same phase. So we directly use resistance. E0 is equal to uh, I0 is equal to E0 by R. If peak value is given, if you have RMS, then IRMS is equal to ERMS by R. Resistor done. When we have inductor, then you can see in the derivation, just revise the derivation, you will see minus pi by 2 is coming in the current. Means it is lagging. Minus means something which is getting reduced. So current lags by 90 degree, whereas the voltage leads by 90 degree. Or you can put plus pi by 2 here. Any of these will work. And here we have the net resistance for the inductor circuit, which is not R, it is XL, which is equal to omega L. So put instead of R, XL in both of these. Inductor done. Then for ca capacitor, same thing. You will get plus in current or minus in EMF. That will show that current is leading because plus means something which is getting increased. So uh, plus pi by 2 and here we have uh, minus pi by 2 can be put which shows current leads by 90 degree and voltage is lagging. Here the constant is Xc and Xc is not equal to omega C. Many students have the tendency to write omega C because it was omega L. It is 1 by hmm. omega C. So everything is inversely proportional. Here it was directly proportional. Whether you write it as 2 pi nu L, here also you can write it as 1 by 2 pi nu C. That's what we have done. So quickly write this summary in this manner only in your notebook and we'll do one or two numericals at least from this portion. Before we start with LCR circuits. LCR circuits are very important. We have to start with that. Please write.
Dan mam. What about you, Zara? Done? Just in the end. Meanwhile, Mamuna, you can try and discuss it once Zara has completed. Done, Mamuna? Uh, no, sorry, Zara? Yes, ma'am, done. Okay. Uh, let me discuss this question. This uh, question says that a pure inductor, pure inductor means circuit having only inductor. Uh, just pay attention to these questions when you are reading because right now we are doing the individual circuits, so it's very easy. But you have LCR circuits, LC circuits, RC circuits, LR circuits. So you have to be very careful which circuit is it referring to. So a pure inductor of 25 millihenry is connected to a source of 220 volts. What all do we have with us? So inductance is 25 millihenry. 25 millihenry. So this means 25 into 10 to the power minus 3 henry. You have to convert it into its SI unit. And then it is saying that the ERMS which is given is 220 volt. So inductance is given, ERMS is given and anything else? Yeah, frequency. Frequency is given as 50 hertz. So we have to find out XL and we have to find out IRMS. What are these two? Right? We have to find out these two. Now see, XL is very easy in this case. You can calculate it as omega L. Omega is not given, so you have nu, which is 2 pi nu L. And all these values are given. 2 into 3.14 into 50 into inductance is 25 into 10 to the power minus 3. So I think when you will calculate the answer, it will be around 7.85 ohms. I have not calculated this right now. This value I remembered because of the question. Uh, but you just cross check it once whether it's right or not. Okay, don't remember it like this. Uh, second is IRMS. Yeah. So C class, IRMS is what? ERMS divided by XL. ERMS is 220. And let's assume that, yeah, this is right. So 7.85. Uh, when you have the value of inductive reactance already given, so directly you will be putting this as the value in the question. Right now, means it. Uh, what I'm, uh, what am I trying to say is that it's not necessary that it will write that find the inductive reactance. It can directly give you the question find the RMS. So in that case, when you see inductive reactance is not mentioned, then you calculate it by yourself. Here it was mentioned in this part. So, um, this is, I think, 28 amperes. This also, please check. Just do the calculation. Write it. One more question, we'll see. Please write it. This is clear to both of you? It was easy? Yes, ma'am.
Yes, Zara, you saying something? No, no. Okay. My book was on. Both of you have done uh, the above question, first one? Yes, ma'am. Okay. Uh, so this is one more question uh, which we have. A coil has an inductance of one Henry. What will be the frequency? <coughs> will it have a reactance of 3142 ohms? So see, inductance is given as 1 Henry. We have to find out the frequency when C class, which type of circuit is this? First, tell me this. Which type of circuit is this? Circuit having only resistor. Circuit having only inductor. 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 Yeah. So here it means reactance directly means it is inductive reactance, ah, which is 3142. And frequency we have to calculate. Okay. These three things. So uh, Zara, can you tell the procedure? How should we begin? I'll solve it. I'll solve the question, but at least just tell me the procedure. How can we get X? Uh, how can we get frequency? The reactance is equal to 3142. So it'll be omega into L. And uh, omega is like 2 pi nu. Correct. And then we're going to do L is 1. So right. we're going to... Very good. So see, XL is equal to omega L, which is equal to 2 pi nu L. So we have the value of XL. This time frequency is missing. So straight away, we'll have frequency equal to XL divided by 2 pi L. So, frequency is equal to 3142 divided by 2 into 3.14. This is 1. So, see, this is around 1000. If you, if we take it as uh, 314 uh, and 3.14 is this, so around 1000 point something. So, the answer is, I think, uh, 500 because 1000 by 2 will be 500.31 hertz or uh, this just calculate this also so answer will be this then it says uh, what should be the capacity of a capacitor at the same reactance at that frequency means now the circuit is the capacitative circuit so it is saying we know that xl is equal to 3142 correct so this time xc is also equal to 3142 ohms because it is saying this is mentioned in the question in this this is a condition now, what is the question asking? Capacity of capacitor means C. Capacitance. You have to find out the value of capacitance. So, again, you know, XC is equal to 1 by omega C. Right? So, XC is equal to 1 by 2 pi nu C. So, C is missing. It will be 1 divided by 2 pi nu XC. So, you put the value. I, around 1 you will get. So, capacitance is equal to 1 divided by 2 into 3.14 into 50 into uh, what was the value of XC? 3142. So, this is around 1.013 farad. Yeah, this is capacitance. So, it is around. Let's just cross check once the calculation because again, I have not, I have not calculated it right now. Uh, yeah, please write down the question and the answer. We'll start with LCR, series LCR circuits.
Done, ma'am. Done, ma'am. Now, uh, see, now we have LCR circuits. LCR circuits means you have inductor, capacitor, resistor, all combined. See, like here you are having a resistor. So, we already know that the current and voltage of resistor, they are in line. So, resistance that is used is R. And if you use the voltage across this resistor, it will be I into R. If we have circuit having only inductor, this we have studied. So we know that the voltage leads the circuit current, circuit's current by 90 degree. This is pi by 2 or you can say 90 degree. So this is circuit having only inductor. And we use XL as the inductive reactance, which is the resistance of the overall circuit. And for voltage, we use I into XL. Lastly, we have the circuits having only capacitors. Here we know that the current is leading the voltage by 90 degree pi by 2 and Vc is equal to current into Xc because Xc is the resistance that we use here. So this combination of all these three in series means you cannot connect any one of it in parallel. It is called as the LCR circuits, inductor, capacitor, resistor. All of these three are together present here. Now, how will we draw the phasor diagrams, diagram here? So see, you cannot draw all three of these. Resistor, only two can be there. You know, when you solve vectors, you only require two vectors at a time to solve. So it's similar to that. So what we do, we shortlist VL and VC means you have to take VR. VR is there because that is in the same phase. Now out of VL, VC, how will you choose? You will see which is greater. If you see VL is greater than VC, then we will take VL minus VC. Instead of taking VL or VC. So out of these, it's like two vectors which are in opposite direction. And if this magnitude is greater, so what you are going to do? If I say this is 8 Newton. And this is 2 Newton. So you will say 6 Newton direct, directed force is there towards 8 1. This is how we do. So if we have, we will take VL minus VC here. Means if you have to draw the phasor diagrams, see here, VR was already there. Instead of going down, we will have the net resultant of VL VC here. That is VL minus VC will be this. And now we will have a proper phasor diagram with two phasors, right? So this will substitute it. Or, and here XL also has to be greater than XC. Any of these conditions, you can draw the, that also. And second condition possible is that VC is greater than VL. So you are going to take VC minus VL because nothing can be negative here. Okay, because you are calculating the resistance and everything. So XC is greater than XL. Here in this case. So it means this component is greater. So when you're drawing the phasor, VR is there in this first quadrant only. But now VL, VC minus VL will be in the fourth quadrant like this. So this will be VC minus VL. So whether to take this or to take this means to take this first one or to take this second one. This completely depends upon the magnitude which, which is greater provided. So consider resistor as one to solve. And take VL minus VC or VC minus VL, whatever it is, as one group to solve. Then let, let's see how can we get other values. Write down this first. Make the heading as LCR circuit. Make the heading as series LCR circuit so that you remember all three have to be connected in series. Please write.
Mom, can you scroll down? Done, Mom. Done, Mom. C class, uh the way we have in, uh, the resistors for each circuits, like for resistors, we have R. XL is there for inductor circuit. For capacitor circuit, we have XC. So when you have LCR circuit, so that also requires a, uh, an overall resistance. So the net resistance of the series LCR circuit is called the impedance. Impedance means the resistance only, the opposition to the flow of the current that occurs within the series LCR circuit. So that is impedance, okay? Now, to derive this, the uh, formula or the expression of impedance, we form a triangle. So there's a right angle triangle basically because you know when vectors are there, you can connect them and represent it with various laws and everything. So why, what are we using? We are using simple Pythagoras theorem. We are not using anything else. So one side is, re as I told you, two major vectors are there, which we are going to use, resistors, phasers, and one XL minus XC or XC minus XL. So those have been put upon the places. Now the last one which we have is the impedance. So you can use the voltages also here in this circuit. And this will give you E0. E0 means the overall voltage by which the entire circuit is connected because you ultimately have one major battery, one major cell which is providing the source. So that is this E0. So this triangle we have formed and in this case I am taking that XL is greater than XE. 
so we begin with pythagoras theorem so see e not square we use hypotenuse you know i hope you know this h square is equal to p square plus v square right we are going to apply the same thing so hypotenuse is e not e not square is equal to what is the base vr i'm using potential we'll remove the potential plus vl minus vc whole square Using the triangle, do you agree till here? Yes, ma'am. Okay. Now let us substitute the values of current. V R. Are you asking something? Anyone? Okay. Ah, uh, V R is equal to current into resistance, and current, of course, we are going to use I not because we are talking about the peak values. We are taking R M S. We can convert it later. So this plus this is equal to I into X L minus. Ah, uh, sorry, I not into X L minus I not into X C whole square. Now we can take at least I not square common from all of these. Three things we have we can take i not common so i not square is taken common we are left with r square plus x l minus x c whole square what is i not equal to i not square equal to it is equal to e not square divided by r square plus x l minus x c whole square so if we just write what is the value of i not it will be e not Divided by r square plus x l minus x c whole square. So yes, ah, uh, Mamuna, what was the Ohm's law? Ma'am, I haven't studied that. But Ohm's law is very basic. What is why? Why did I write this as I r? V is equal to I r is Ohm's law. And I have been using it continuously, and you didn't ask why I was substituting I into voltage. V is equal to I R is Ohm's law. That is at constant temperature and pressure, the voltage is directly proportional to the current. So the constant that you get is the resistance. So V is equal to I R is the final formula. Please revise that. And one thing, even if you're not revising, V is equal to I R should be remembered by both of you. because you can see there is not a single question where we have solved it but we are using its application everywhere so yeah if you take the root for i not this square will be gone right and there will be because there wasn't any square so an under root will be put up here right now If you see, if V is equal to I R, then I will be equal to V divided by R. Means voltage divided by resistance. I is equal to V by R. Can you see a similarity, class? Current is equal to voltage divided by resistance. So we have got the value of impedance. Impedance is nothing. Impedance is simply under root R square plus X. L minus X C whole square impedance. This is impedance means the net resistance, and if vice versa occurs, suppose X L is greater than X C, same derivation, same thing. It's just that R square plus X C minus X L will come. That's it. Okay. So what is impedance? Um, this triangle I'll tell you. To write it till here. Write it till here.
Mom, can you scroll down, please? Ma'am, when I you have not shared any homework, and like I could I could find Zara's homework submitted of yes, alternating current. Have you submitted, Ma'am, Muna? Uh, I have informed the learning viewer team that I couldn't get any of those in my phone, so they told me to do from laptop, and I just did it two days ago. I'll complete it and I'll send it. Okay, Ma'am. Okay, no issues. Done. Both? Both have completed? Yes, ma'am. Done. Okay. Uh, see, uh, one thing that I was, wanted to discuss, yeah, impedance is definition and the uh, other triangle. See, what is impedance? Effective resistance of the series LCR circuit which opposes or impedes the flow of current through it. Okay. Same thing. Just you don't have to go by the definition. You know, it's the net resistance, effective resistance of the circuit. Now, uh, see, uh, what are these two triangles depicting? Basically, these two triangles, I've drawn it again. I've drawn them again to show. If you have tan phi, phi is what? Phi is basically showing the phase difference here. Because obviously you have three devices right now. When you had individual devices, that time we used to write about the phase difference. So we'll have the phase differences here also. So two, there are two methods by which you can get. You can use tan theta, you can use cos theta. Best method for tan theta is... Take the perpendicular divided by the base. So, XL minus XE by R. And when we are talking about cos phi, cos phi is very important. You will see it uh, further also. It is equal to R by Z, right? R by Z. Similarly, if you have to write it from this triangle where XE is greater, so simply XE minus XL by R and cos phi is equal to r by z cos phi will be the same class cos phi is important because it is a quantity that uh, we will we'll discuss it later uh yeah xl is equal to xe you get a purely resistive circuit this part we will be discussing where this term this condition is called resonance so this we will discuss it first you write it till here
Denmark. Denmark. Uh, please, uh, both of you tell me one thing. Uh, when do you have the biology class tomorrow? That is not fixed, Memuna. For both of you? Okay, okay, wait. Um, I don't have any class tomorrow. Okay, Zara, okay. See, this question says, determine the impedance of a series LCR circuit if the reactance of capacitance and inductance are these. So, this is which case? Uh, Zara, XL greater than XE or XE greater than XL? XL greater than XE. XL, XL greater than no, XE. No, no. No, uh, X C greater than X C. First value is. Are you sure? Um, yes. Look at the screen. Look at the question. Read it, and then tell me one last chance. One more chance. The first value is for like capacitance. Uh, capacitor. So why are you getting nervous? You were right. It's written respectively, it means this is capacitance, this is yeah. for inductance. So XC is greater yeah. than XL. Okay. So XC yeah. is definitely greater than XL. Your answer was right. So resistance is 40. 
capacitive capacitive inductance is 250 ohms inductive reactive inductance is 220 ohms so very easy question z is equal to under root r square plus xc minus xl whole square so under root this is 40 whole square 250 minus 220 that's 30 whole square so pythagorean triplet 50 ohms okay write it one more question we will see Dan ma'am. Ma See, uh, this question, just wait, don't write it. I'll give you time to copy it. You don't have to solve it. You just have to observe one thing. Just look at the figure. Can you, can you notice one thing? I just want your observation. Anything which you can see in the figure, forget the question also. There is 90 degree voltage. Not 90 degree, 90 volt. 90 yeah. volt. But that you can see, that I know that you both can see things and read things, that I know, I want observation. Something which you can observe. Through the data only. Remember, you're going on the right way. XL is equal to XC. Both are what? Four. 
four ohm. So XL is equal to XC. This condition is called resonance. So resonance, I'll tell you one thing class, uh, you're having the exam also on uh, Sunday and uh, not even on just Sunday because this Sunday you'll be getting focus on the entire chapter EMI, but in your finals, when you are, when you are prepared like this week, you'll be prepared with this chapter at the end when you revise. If you have to do something very important and to start with very important, start with series LCR circuit, do this portion of reference and the next portion which we'll do in the next class quality factor. This entire page, which I am teaching you right now, this page, this entire, what, whatever is included in this, this is extremely important, extremely important. Rest of the things are manageable. Okay, so this is a condition called resonance. Now see, if XL is equal to XC, what will happen class? If XL becomes equal to XC, then they both will be equal to zero. It means Z is directly equal to R. And see, current is inversely proportional to resistance. So, uh, total resistance is impedance. That has decreased. Something was there which was adding it. Right? Something was there which was getting added. Though under root only after getting subtracted. Whatever the quantity we got, it was added to this. So, Z was more. Now, this is zero. So, Z is just equal to R. Even your inductor and capacitors are present. So, resistance now decreases you get a maximum current so the condition where you get maximum current is called the resonance this is clear to both of you yes ma'am zara clear i yes, understand that you have understood zara mike and yeah. camera and Thing was getting clicked. It's okay. Uh, please write it. Please. Yeah. I think not much. Uh, let me confirm tomorrow's timing also. Bio ki class kabi bhi ho jati. You don't have a fixed time for that. Why? Just now they texted that bio class will be on Monday and Wednesday 4 p.m. Okay. It's right now they have texted you. Yes, just now. Okay. Monday and Wednesday timings 4 p.m. Six thirty IST. Yes, yes. 6.30. Okay, so 6.30 to 8, you must be having like 4 to 5.30? Yeah, 4 to, yeah, we have, it is. So after 5.30, you're free? 5.30, I'm free, I'm free. Six, Take half an hour break, 6 o'clock? Yeah, yeah. 6 o'clock KSA means yes. 7, 8, 8.30 IST. Yeah. Okay, then. This 6 o'clock KSA timing for you all, fine? Zara, yes. you are also available? Yes, ma'am. Let's have uh, a class tomorrow. All right. Please, please write it.
Okay, Mamun and Zara, if you uh, when you will complete till here, you can directly leave class. Okay, all right. Thank you so much. Thank you, ma'am. Thank you, ma'am.